the first verse what does arjuna ask in first verse can anyone tell me yes sharav the first verse of bhakti yoga yes so the first verse of bhakti yoga vishnu uh, second i tell nayana what was the verse was it my verse sir? the verse that i chanted it is just a revision okay nayana you oh. tell so arjuna asks which is the highest form of bhakti fantastic so the first question was which is the highest form of bhakti which of these bhaktas come to you god is it the nirguna or saguna correct and the second verse yes. is answer i remember was, the answer sir uh, what was the answer saguna bhakti is indeed great but yes. nirguna bhakti is the one which attains me fantastic children see we are learning this slowly very slowly in in fact in the last two months we have completed 10 verses what i want from you kids when you finish the verse or when you have listened to one verse please go and read it so that we have a competition after this 12th chapter right and this is going to be asked you are going to get points on this also we have to have a one after another if you want to remember the verses you have to remember all the verses so maybe it is verse of vishnu or verse by anvit or anyone else but i request all the kids to by heart the 12th chapter verse by verse with the meaning because bhakti is something which is different and it is very integral part of getting mukti without bhakti there is no mukti and we all want and we all starve strive hard to get bhakti isn't it second verse bhagwan gives an answer that indeed saguna bhakti is very dear but nirguna bhakta has only reached to me now the third verse there is one word called as akshara rupas aksharo pasanam through that you will reach me here in third verse sir yes i know 12th chapter who is this anand you know anand. anand okay you know third 12th chapter entirely yes sir very good anand very good vishwesh you know i know i know till i am maya veshamanu eva sir i am learning to by heart uh, the 12th chapter very good ma'am what so what's the full meaning of aksharo pasana yeah i was going to come to that so aksharo pasana ah, so it is an expansion of your mind the ayas bhakta actually expands his mind to see he he sees in everything aksharo pasana yeah kalpana kalpana lakpana lakpana dana ji ஒன்னு <laughs> uh one is if you attain nirguna bhakti once uh then again you go back to saguna bhakti so will you get moksha or not like you have nirguna bhakti for one time in your life and not the other the only way to attain uh, moksha is through nirguna upasana so all the other levels are to just if you can't reach the highest level you come down then down and down we will we will come to today's class we will complete everything today about the bhakti okay so nirguna bhakti only is the way to attain moksha got it yes vishwesh you had some you have raised your hand no sir i said by mistake okay akshara upasana nayana it is like expanding your mind see we are all limited because of our five senses and also mind which is acting always in a different way if we want to study lot of distraction will be there if we want to play again some some small small quarrels between friends 
or we don't have this, I don't have that shoes, all this distraction will be there. Akshar Upasana, when you want to see God in you, you have to expand yourself. You cannot be limited to your senses. That like the space, Upasana of space. Space is in here, the same space is in Sharav's home in Dubai, sorry, wherever you are Sharav, and Nayana's home also same space. So I have to expand my mind thinking I am the space. So when you have that expansion, you are Nirguna Upasaka. And in fourth verse, there are some specific uh, pointers that these people are Nirguna Upasaka. What are they? Some Niyama Indriya. They are controlling their senses. Sarvatra Samabuddhaya. In all the all the time, they are in a same equanimous. They are not going up and down in their thoughts, words, and deeds. Sarva Bhuta Hita Rata. So they are helpful to every being, be it a human being, be it an animal, or anything. They are always helpful all the time. These are the pointers that these people are Nirguna Upasakas. Okay? Yeah, and in the first words, Lord Krishna confesses that this type of bhakti is very difficult, children. So, those who can't do this bhakti, that's where God is saying, come down to Vishwarupa Ishvara Bhakti. You cannot suddenly say, I am God. Expand your mind and say, I am God. It is very difficult. Expansion of mind requires no likes and dislikes. And as kids, as in the, yeah. If we can't, if we uh, can't do Nirguna Bhakti first, we have to uh, do the other Bhakti. Correct. Very good. So why don't we have that type of Bhakti? Because we have a lot of likes and dislikes. Today, when you go for dinner, you see mother will prepare a lot of dishes. But out of all the dishes, you might like only sweets. Some people might like only oily food. Some people might like only French chips. So all these things, there are a lot of likes and dislikes. Even in your day-to-day -day, uh, work, like when you want to go to school, you only, some people like only maths. Some people don't, they hate maths. So likes and dislikes in our life actually is the hurdle for expansion of mind. So for such people, Sir, I like all subjects in school. Correct. So, I like all subjects. I like all. Uh, I like all the subjects and teachers in my school. Even food, I like all of it because uh, because I don't have any specific food that I like. Very good. Those children who are having no likings or dislikes, that will be they will be having easy way for nirguna upasana. But some people, some children, may not have that kind of uh, understanding. For those, Bhagwan says, come down to Vishwarupa Ishvara Bhakti. Means, see in everything around me, God. But difficult. There may be difficulty in this also. So, 6th, 7th and 8th verse is level 4 Bhakti. That is, all the gods you see and in everything you see God. But, you know that there is, God is trying to come down for your if you are not able to do it, he is telling you to come down, ease, ease your pressure. In 12.9, Dhimahi has explained that if you cannot do this also, then you have Ekarupa Ishvara Bhakti or Ishta Devata Bhakti. We have seen this in ninth verse, that is again level 3. Devotion to one form. Like here, Hanuman is devoted completely to one God, that is Rama. This devotion is called Ishta Devata Upasana Bhakti. But children, how do you do Ishta Devata Upasana? That is by Abhyasa Yogena. What is this Abhyasa? It is meditation. It is like that God is not sitting there. He is sitting in the heart. As Hanumana, he will see the God in him, inside him, sitting somewhere in the deepest cave of his heart. Actually, that is, uh, sir, that, is that is explained that I explained when he tears his heart and in his heart deeply uh, Rama, Rama and Sita is there. Deeply. Correct. So, 
that type of bhakti also may be difficult for some people so that's where again he gives us one concession 10th verse shifting down to ladder 